Right now, Vista Create does not have the ability to add rulers or grid lines. I've checked a lot of different areas and just not seeing the ability to, to add grid lines. However, you can kind of fake it a little bit. So I'm interested in showing you how to add grid lines um, just for the sake of where I can see things. Um, so I'm going to type in just a basic line. We do have to scroll down a little bit just to get a line. And here's a line that I can use. And I'm even going to make it like pink, something I don't need. And I want to split this document in half. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it bigger. And then from there, as I move it around, you get the pink grid lines there, except now this line that I drop is going to serve as the grid line. So I need another line. I'm going to do a copy and I'm going to rotate the second line till I get it pretty straight. And I'm going to move it again until I see that pink line pop up so I can see it it's centered. There it is. So the pink line is running right through the middle of that line. And now, uh, and then I adjusted it. Let me try it again. I let go weird. There's that pink line running right through the middle of my red thick line and I'm going to let go. And so I know I have this, this page, this document that I select broken up into four quadrants. Then I can add whatever I need to add to my four quadrants, but this would print. So if I'm interested in printing something with my color printer, I would want to remove these red lines before I print. So that would be kind of adding some grid lines. Now I can add other grid lines. So if I add, the more lines I add though, you have to remember to get rid of them all. But here's another line and I can start adding these in place as well. So just not getting the same pink guidelines. I just might have to eyeball it a little bit. But there I have some more grid lines. I think the less grid lines, the better it's going to be in Vista Create, but it does give you an idea where the center is vertically and where the center is horizontally. And that's a kind of a simple way to add some visual grid lines for your reference if you need to divide something up into different areas.